Is our home, the Earth, totally safe? Many people think that living on this blue planet is the only option, but there is a new world beyond the Earth that we have barely explored. But what if this lovely planet could no longer protect us? Are we prepared to leave our home, Earth, and find a new one in space? This topic is not just a fantasy. It's a real challenge that we are facing today. And, at the center of this challenge, there is Elon Musk's plan to colonize Mars. So, this made me ask, why Mars on the many planets? And is colonizing Mars even possible? To answer these questions, I believe we first need to know the current state of our planet. I guess Elon Musk is planning Mars colonization not only to discover a new world, but to increase humanity's chances of survival. Thanks to its relatively close distance to Earth, taking only about 6 to 7 months to reach by rocket and its somewhat accessible environment, Mars became a prime candidate to colonize. Musk's core argument is simple. We can't only rely on Earth. We need to make Mars our second home. This concept is often referred to as Plan B. This concept is about creating an alternative option in case where Earth can no longer protect humanity. Of course, Mars is very far from being a paradise that we want it to be. Its atmosphere is thin and contains an insufficient amount of oxygen. The average temperature is around minus 60 degrees Celsius and it has no or very weak magnetic field to protect people against radiation and solar wind. Despite these challenges, we are trying to colonize Mars because it's the most realistic option for a second home. This brings up another question. Is Earth really in trouble that we have no choice but to move to Mars? I believe the existential risk of humanity is real and shouldn't be ignored. First, there is a risk of nuclear war. Currently, there are around 12,000 nuclear warheads worldwide. A single mistake or conflict between governments could end whole human civilization. Second, there is a risk of asteroid impact. NASA is tracking thousands of asteroids that are passing near the Earth or near Earth's asteroids each year. If we fail to detect even one, it could cause catastrophic damage. Also, we have the risk of climate change and resource depletion. These are ongoing risks. Earth's climate is becoming more and more unstable and natural resources are being rapidly depleted. But there is an important point here. It's that many of these threats can be solved with human effort. At this point, you might be thinking, shouldn't we solve Earth's problems first before going to Mars? That's right, in part 2, I'll discuss whether terraforming Mars or fixing problems on Earth is more efficient solution. If you also watch part 2 of the video, then you'll be able to find some intriguing answers about our future. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.